Welcome back to the channel. I'm in the kitchen, and if you guys are like me, you have a freezer that's full of fish. Well, I have about four bags of vacuum sealed lion fish that I need to do something with, because Sarah said that if I bring home any more fish, that she's gonna start poking holes in my kayak, and she says she's gonna take all the air out of my scuba tanks if I bring home any more fish. I'm going to take this fish, and I'm gonna show you guys a recipe that I used to use up in Montana when I'd have way too many walleye and way too many northern pike. I promise you guys, this is gonna be an awesome recipe that you guys are gonna love. It's gonna take eight days for the final recipe to be complete to where you can actually eat it. You gotta be patient with this one, but I promise you it is worth the wait. And if you guys hear any noise in the background, I'm sorry, but it's Christmas time. We got girls that are about to start hanging up balls on the Christmas tree. Just be warned that you might hear a little bit of noise back there. Just ignore them. That's what I always do. You'll be all right. Let's get started. All right guys, for the first part of this recipe, we got one and one third cup of salt. And it's important that it's non iodine salt. So look at that, non-iodine. So we got that, we have our fish. We're gonna take all our fish out of our bag and we're gonna, we're gonna cut it into little chunks. So this fish was all from scuba diving earlier this year where I got so many lionfish that I didn't know what I was gonna do with them. So I just vacuum sealed them, put them in the freezer and I just kept doing that. And I swear I have a freezer out in the garage that is just loaded with fish. What we're gonna do, we're gonna take this big jar. If you have a bigger jar, that's cool too. But this is the one that I got. I'm gonna fill it up halfway with fish, but I'm gonna layer it with salt and fish all at the same time. So with our fish, we're just gonna take our knife and we're gonna cut it in like one to two inch chunks, like that. That's what you're looking for. Once you cut them all up, don't worry, I'm gonna fast forward this part so you guys don't have to see me cutting up every single one of these, but you'll get the point once I'm all done on what I'm doing. Now I got, just got this bubble blade like maybe three weeks ago. I'm gonna do a test between this bubble blade and this Dexter blade at some point. I'm gonna tell you guys which one I like better because these are the two that I was recommended. So one's gonna be better than the other one. This one's kind of cool though because it's got serrated edges. So you get some fish with some pretty nasty scales, it's pretty easy to cut through. What's cool with this recipe too, if you don't get all the bones out of your fish, not a big deal because the actual pickling process is gonna melt down all those bones. Not really melt it down, it's just gonna make them like super soft that you're not even gonna feel them in the fish anymore. You're just gonna eat the bones. They're not even really there anymore. I don't know what happens to them. They're like dissolve or something, it's like science. All right, so here's the first process. We got the salt. We're gonna put a little layer of salt on the bottom. We're gonna take some of our fish. We're gonna throw a fish in, give a good one or two inch layer of fish. Dump some more salt on them. Add some more fish. All right, now that we have our fish in our jar, we're gonna take white distilled vinegar. We're just gonna dump it in. We're gonna cover up all this fish and salt with the vinegar. You don't have to add your sugar yet? Nope, that's after the five days of curing. We're gonna put our lid on there. We're gonna shake it up a little bit. Get that vinegar all the way down the bottom. Dissolve some of that salt. And put some more vinegar in. I don't know what the bird's doing behind me. I'm sure she's doing something stupid. <laughs> something stupid bird thingy. Shake All right, look, so. Shake it. Look at her. I'm gonna shake this up a little bit. I'm gonna shake it up. Each day for five days, you're gonna go in your refrigerator, you're gonna take this out, and you're gonna give it a good shake. And then after that five days, we'll get it on the next process. So I'll see you guys in five days. Shake it up real good, once a day. Is that right, Zuri? You gonna shake it with me? All right, so we're back. It's been five days. Got our fish out of its salt brine and we rinse it off, just get some of the salt off. And we're gonna take this fish and we're gonna give it a nice bath for about an hour to cool it down. So I already got some ice in my bowl. I'm gonna throw my fish in there and then I'm gonna dump some water on it. And then mix it all up and let that sit for an hour. That's gonna sit while we're doing the rest of the ingredients. Mix all that in. 
And the ice bath is just gonna really firm up the, the fish. It's already pretty firm coming out of that salt brine. This will just make it really firm before we put it in its mixture. So we have eight cups of distilled white vinegar and seven cups of sugar and then pickling spice. And for the pickling spice, we're gonna use about, I don't know, a third to maybe a little under a half of that pickling spice. You want a cracker? We're gonna take our vinegar, pour it in our bowl. That was four cups in this one. Give us another four cups. Give us eight and then seven cups of sugar. And this is really what's gonna make it super sweet. Like I said, it's not what you would think about pickled fish. That's our seven cups of sugar. And then we'll do, like I said, a third to just under a half of pickling spice. I'm gonna put that on the stove and we're gonna let it go to a roiling boil. Did I say roiling? Yeah. <laughs> we're gonna put down the stove and we're gonna do a royal. We're gonna put down the stove to a rolling boil. Gal, yeah, why can I get that out? All right, you guys, last step. We got our pickling brine, our spices. We have our fish that is nice and firm and cold. That's all lime fish in here. And then we have our onions. We've got our jar. I got a second jar because I'm assuming that I'm probably gonna need two jars for this. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna add our fish in there, a layer of fish, a layer of onions. These are uh, sweet onions. Sweet onions are the best. Just throw in those, throw in another layer of fish. Another layer of onions. This might actually be enough. This jar might be big enough. We'll see. We're getting pretty full already. Smush that down. Now, once this process is done, you put it back in the refrigerator and you'll leave it for about two or three days and you'll see all the stuff finally kind of, it'll raise up all the fish and onions. And in about two or three days, it'll all sink back down to the bottom. And that's how you know it's done. So after we get all that stuff in there, we're gonna take our brine, try not to make a mess, cause it's sticky. Oh Lord, Lord of mercy. Oh my goodness, it's not working. It's really hard to pour stuff. And this jar is made for pouring too. Sorry lady, we're gonna have such a big sticky mess. Yeah, if you guys can only see her face, I think I'm in trouble. And we'll put our lid on there. And then we're gonna rinse this bottle off before we put it in the refrigerator. Trust me, you don't wanna get in trouble. And that's what it's gonna look like. And then about a day, all this stuff will start rising to the top, the fish and the onions. And then in a couple days, it'll all sink back down to the bottom. Once it sinks down to the bottom, you know it's done and ready to go. So that's what your finished product should look like. You don't have to stir it or mix it up or anything. Just let it sit for a couple days and then you'll be snacking. I guarantee you guys, you're gonna love this recipe. Check it out and don't forget, hit the like, hit the subscribe and leave a comment below if you've ever made fish like this, pickled fish, or if you have a different recipe, let me know. We'll see you guys when we're eating this. See you later.